Hey Geek Family, we're back this time. We're going to go back and check out another video from Best Ever Food Review Show. This one is titled Rare Indian Desert Food. And I'm Nathan. I'm Rachel. Trinity. Troy. Jordan. Yeah, it's been a while since we've checked them out. I thought we had watched most of the, the Indian food stuff. I was wrong. Uh -huh. Um, so you know what? We had this one uh, sent to us. We're gonna, uh, you know, give it a real quick watch. But before we do, just want to say thank you guys again for all your support of the channel. And if you can, you can guys hit that like, followed by that subscribe if you haven't subscribed. No, that's not how you say it. You messed up already. Followed by the notification bell. Bang! Bang. Bang. Oh. There you go. Uh, we almost did this video without Jordan. He was out fishing today. Thought uh, he wasn't gonna be here, you know. As per usual, I tried to stop him, let him know, like, "Hey, we're gonna do some recording." But he, you know, his usual thing. We all know Jordan. He's like, "I'm out of here, y'all. Goodbye." Uh, we actually have video evidence of this, so uh, yes, I might, I might put, do. I might put that in right about here. Hey, Jordan, we're getting ready to record videos. No, I'm going fishing. I ain't got time to record no videos. No, come back. You gotta record. I ain't got time for no YouTube. And so I don't know if you guys let us know what you, what you think <laughs> of that um, surveillance type footage we got of Jordan. Uh, but you know what? We're all together. He made it back in time. He, he did look handsome in that video <laughs> when you recorded me leaving. Gotta say, oh, I looked handsome. Thank you. Looked dashing. Thank you. What? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's go ahead and check the video out. Grapes. I'm gonna say grapes. My first foodie mission into India brought me to two yeah. of its most massive cities, Delhi and Mumbai. This city is home to some of the most butter? gigantic yeah. Indian crap. food I have ever seen. Now mm -hmm. I'm back with a special focus hey, on northwestern India, starting our journey we see that, in the semi-arid right. deserts of Rajasthan. <laughs> Every home has had I mean, we've seen it recently. But this kind of food, not videos, too many people. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here for food. I'm talking old-style desert cooking in Ooh, the ground. Now they're yeah. going to cover it on top? In the wow. ground? Mm -hmm. Ajit and Uday are leading the way. They're the driving force behind Overlander India, with the mission of demystifying Rajasthan's many yeah, gems, awesome. including certain <laughs> complex foods. You know how to eat foodies, right? Um... Uh... Yes. We'll be literally dozens of miles from civilization, and things are gonna get spicy. Wow. That yeah. is well, that means so I much spicy. But don't that worry, I'm leaving some room for dessert. The ceremony is known as the Amal Sabha, which literally translated into English means opium ceremony. Opium. So grab your geek, because we're doing <laughs> desert cooking Rajasthani yeah. style. Ooh, that one's good. That one's good too. Yeah. Can't wait to see that one. And we're Before all Before any feasting can begin, Ajit has See, invited me to be part kind of, of a welcoming <laughs> ceremony with some locals. Welcome to the village, sir. That's a welcome tikka for you. Oh. A welcome tikka. What is the this significance is, of this? this? Whenever you are being welcomed into somebody's home, you're welcomed like this. Wow. Well, sometimes you would garland somebody, but that's if it was a bigger occasion. Like if you were coming to attend a wedding or something. Yeah, this isn't that garland. big of an occasion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can go in now. All right, thank you very much. We're inside a mutt with the village head, who's about to offer his version of a welcome drink. This gentleman is Mr. Padam Bharti. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you so much for having us. We are here actually to witness a very old ceremony. The ceremony is known as the Amal Sabha, which literally translated into English means opium ceremony. In the West, you would open a bottle of champagne. Over here, you share a little bit of opium. This type of ceremony traditionally uses real opium. But since opium is now illegal in India, we'll just use molasses and uh, pretend it's opium. Oh, uh, just molasses. Hello, gentlemen. What do we have here? It's for the opium ceremony. What is being poured in there? Basically, one part opium, three parts molasses, then mixed with water, and then it's going to be filtered. So now he's going to offer it to the gods. Since I'm not wearing a turban, with my left hand, I would cover my head with my hand. With my right hand, the ring finger, I would offer some to the gods as well. Mm. And then I would consume it directly from his hand. I'll watch how you do it here. Okay, ring finger. Some to the gods. I can't do that. Should I do it in the same way? Yes, absolutely. All right. So he pours it onto his hand, covering my head with my left hand. And then slurp. Yeah, slurp. Yes. Hmm. The flavor is like a little bit of aspirin that's been diluted in water. It's, it's a bit bitter. It feels like one puff of a cigarette. Are we done here then? Yeah, we're pretty much done. How do I say thank you? Where do I say thank you? Thank you very much. 
Now that I'm all buzzed up on molasses, we're driving to the middle of the desert to the Overlander campground. Yes. Today we're sampling no. some old traditional Rajasthani recipes. Recipes that's that good. came about through yeah, absolute good. necessity, but delivered completely yeah, on flavor. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. But what else is on the menu for today? So what we are going to do today is cook lamb in a very different way. We are going to cook what's known as cut lamb. The cooking is going to be done underground. Going to be... Are these camels? Yes, these are camels. Whoa, these, these are, are just like... Holy crap. Trees. This is cattle grazing land, so you'll that see cattle... Camel are huge. I know, that's what I'm saying. Back to the cut. During war, <laughs> the, the soldiers <laughs> used this method <laughs> of cooking <laughs> underground. Mm. They left no trace of it whatsoever. Right. We'll be making another lamb, which yeah, is known yeah. as jungling <laughs> lamb. It's made with five ingredients. In the West, it's like five. That seems normal. In India, that's like, there's nothing in our dish. We're only using five ingredients. The idea behind this recipe is that if you got stranded hey, somewhere, anywhere you were, I went for that camera. Hey, Mike, 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 Mike. All right. Well, here we are. I guess uh, your team is going to get to digging. Um, yes. Uh, welcome to the Overlander team. He's <laughs> funny. Oh. It's going to take a while. Yeah. Well, I'm told this is the most important kitchen utensil we're using today, but um, I think I need some guidance. Uday, hey man. How you doing? <laughs> this is yours. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, we're making a hole. It's two foot by two foot and yeah. then two feet deep. Yes. We're going to fill the bottom with coal and put uh, the leg of lamb and cover the hole with mud again. And we'll wait for about two hours. Oh, it takes two hours. That's fine. Cool. This is kind of a slow cooker, huh? Oh, boy. I've seen that done somewhere else. Like Huh? Um, I've seen that done so from somewhere here, else. The hole will be dug off camera. Yeah. Cooking <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he's not using <laughs> his foot to. Once the hole is dug, Uday walks me through how to perfectly spice our lamb. Right here, we have the leg of lamb. We're ready to prepare. Walk me through this. These are the spices that everybody knows: cinnamon, cardamom, black pepper, cloves, coriander, turmeric, onion powder, and ghee. Roasted onion? Yes. It looks like ground coffee. All these spices combined create the garam masala, which is right here. Which we have. Which we love. Fragrant, aromatic, and very fresh. Take a pinch. Taste it? Have you guys done that? It's an explosion nope. in your mouth, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Man, very nice. If you nope. taste the marinade, it's rough. very, very sharp. <laughs> but the nice. end result is very mild. After scoring the lamb, this baby is going to get an avalanche of seasoning. And it starts oh simply gosh. with some garlic and a basic marinade. What are you making in this one? I'm going to make another paste of spices, which is going to be mixed in ghee, and we'll pour it on top. So we start with red chilies. Coriander powder. Yeah. A little bit of turmeric, salt. Oh, the ghee. I'm gonna mix it. Ooh. Yeah, that looks good. Sauce butter. Mm -hmm. Try it out. I mean, a buttload of ghee in here, which is a, a kitchen term. <laughs> I was about to say buttload. Oh, it's mild, isn't it? It's not sharp at all. Pretty intense to me. It's intense, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> all right, we got. Guys like yeah, 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 tin foil like, leaves, and then perhaps <laughs> the most interesting part of this to me, That's I'm actually surrounding talk. the whole leg with, with all these rotis. With the rotis. See, rotis also act as a buffer. It will not let your meat get burnt. Now you're gonna put on that lovely sauce. Oh, that's wonderful. <gasps> Wow. Yeah, that looks so, so good. So much spice. It's There's as much yeah. seasoning as there is meat on here. Is it impossible to overseason this? Are there you any Indian restaurants? It's always restaurant good to right overdo it than what? underdo it. I don't think so. Troy's buying dinner. Once it's like, soaked in pickup? masala, the lamb is encased with uh, even more maybe. rotis, banana leaves, and tinfoil leaves. Wow. This bundle is slid inside a damp burlap sack, protecting the lamb from burning. Finally, our lamb cooking apparatus requires a handle for easier retrieval. You'll see what I mean soon. So what's happening here? I'm just I'm gonna moist this a little bit. The hole is now moist. <laughs> okay, so we've got the hot embers coming Ooh, in, and go. then in with the meat wrapped in this soaked gunny sack. He's got kind of a wire handle on here. The embers are heating up that wet sack, and now they're gonna cover it on top, right? Yeah. Side oh. of it, the Okay. Wow. The lamb bundle is topped off with even more embers and finally sand to lock in the heat. With I'll no thermometer, that. the only issue Please. remaining is having no idea if it's actually finished cooking. While we wait, Ajit introduces today's second main course. What's our second course today? It's called jungly meat. Jungly means wild. Uh -huh. Very easy to cook. Five key ingredients. Ghee, which is clarified butter. Red chilies, whole and in powdered form. Coriander seeds, garlic, and crushed, in as well form? as whole, and salt. And of course, then we have lamb. We're going to Ooh, start lamb chunks. putting ghee. Once ghee has heated up a little bit, we're just going to put everything else in together. Oh, 
Beautiful. Instantly frying up. Ooh, you got the whole chilies in there. Chili powder. I like to and what are you putting in now? Looks even hotter. Bunch of salt. Putting the garlic. Wow. Salt the five ingredients. And now we're going to be leaving it in here to cook. And that's it. Ooh. Yeah. I'll it's almost it. making my eyes water. <laughs> Thinking about, about how 45 hot that probably minutes is later, our jungly moss is ready. Served on a fresh, warm chapati or yes. Indian flatbread. Spritz it with some lime and oh prepare to have your breath taken away. Yeah, because right, so it's I'm getting burned out nice of your body. Of meat, super hot, and just soak up some of those amazing so spices. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. So good. <laughs> I bet it's really good. I bet it is too. Oh, that is to die for. So simple, but so delicious. Just rich, incredible heat. It feels really complete for just being a handful of ingredients exactly. in there. This is gonna be joining our meal with the cod lamb. We're gonna wait just a little bit for that Absolutely. and then dig it up. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ready. About two hours has now passed. The lamb cud is finished, or just maybe finished. Uday seems to think the lamb is at least probably finished. How long has it been cooking now? <laughs> About two hours. How do you know if it's done? I don't know. We're just gonna have to dig <laughs> it up know. and see how it looks, huh? Yeah. All right, so we're removing all these hot embers. You're gonna use the pick to this. get around this loop of a handle here. And wow. Oh my what gosh. What happened? Is everything okay? <laughs> Hurry up, okay, open it up, open it up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Well, no wonder we need the wire on there. Like... That would suck to get out otherwise. We can see the bottom here. It's not even burnt all the way through the gunny sack, but hopefully it's cooked all the way through. Hopefully it's Uday removes the wire, burlap sack, and leaves, leaving us now with just the moment of truth. Do I have an ending for this video? Please, the winds please, please, are please, roaring. Please. The gods are praising us for our great effort. This is the moment of truth. Is it good? I really hope so. <laughs> I, hope so. I need an ending to this like, video. I hope so. All right. So he's cutting off some oh of this meat. Oh my god, that looks little amazing. Little bits of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Thank you. Who's the god of food? Gordon Ramsay. Gordon <laughs> <Come laughs> Ramsay. I'm gonna have some of you. I'll have Ramsey the whole thing. Yeah. He's Pick gonna be up. cursing at everybody. <laughs> Cheers. I know. Cheers. He just cusses everybody out. Only well, the dumb mm. ones. It's all right. That's true. Oh, it's stunning. That, that looks is amazing. So it's nice. It's very tender. Just a ton of spices working together. Yeah, but it has nothing sharp in it. You're right. You it's know? not overpowering yeah. at all. So you can see here, the roti is just caked in spices. The outside is still kind of dry and almost like it has a little crispy edge oh, to it. The inside's man. a little soggy, soaking up all the spices. I want you to enjoy it with me. I mean, I did dig the hole, but you did everything else. And also I didn't dig the hole. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Hold on. Look at him, Kai, over to the side. He's like, are you done? <laughs> I want some, man. <laughs> We're doing a thorough food review over here. Okay. Uh, I think one more show. One more take. Was that last one in focus? No, no, no. No, yeah. Wasn't. I don't think no, it was. No, no, it wasn't. You ready? <laughs> that is so not fair. So jealous. I'm well, the guy in the sidelines is like, come on. Feeling a little full, I mean bad for the others, we set out an entire spread. Two legendary Rajasthani dishes. Perhaps some of the most delicious food I've tried, not only in India, but anywhere. What should people know about I Rajasthani food? Rajasthani food is so diverse. Every home has their own recipe. But this kind of food, not too many people know about. How would you rate this? Simple food is some of the best food I've ever had. But to me, it's not simple at all. It's taking a handful of ingredients and really elevating the food the mm -hmm. most, yeah. absorbing and, all and, the spices. And amazing, it's not on any flame. Okay. And yet, it's it's just melting in the mouth. Look at that. It's just falling off the bone. So tree. easy. Oh. The way mouth pleasure. At least half so the tender. happiness in my life comes from mouth pleasure. True. <laughs> Turn to the office. Yeah. Thank you so much for this experience. I mean, desert cooking. Yeah. This is how you do it. I didn't know what to expect, but you've outdone yourself. I didn't <laughs> know myself if it's gonna be cooked. <laughs> it all worked out. Yeah. Huge thank you to Overlander for this custom tour, but they do amazing tours here in Rajasthan. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. For you guys, That's this so video was made possible mm -hmm. by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company Love in Vietnam, to doing tours from north oh, to south in there. all major yeah, cities, there, including uh, Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and yeah, Saigon. You can experience food camp. tours, adventure tours and more to learn more about one trip mm -hmm. check out the links in the description down below i will see you next time a peace oh dang i'm gonna have to learn how that to looked fantastic oh my god that looks so good and the fact that like they're saying was not no no flame at all and you saw how tender that lamb was the way it was just falling off like so easily he was cutting it 
And uh, like I said, right as the video started, we're all hungry. So <laughs> why I don't know why we sit, we tend to watch these when we're hungry. Because uh, you I'm always make us way. watch them when we're hungry. Yeah, yeah pretty I much. Agree. I'm sorry, but uh, you want your hunger reaction. <laughs> It helps <laughs> your, let so, your stomach talk. Yeah, to have the have the viewers see us salivating for the for the delicious food. Now, but no joke, the the that stuff, the the, the lamb that they cooked in the ground was probably one of the best looking things I've seen on the best ever food review show out of yeah. India. It, it looked fantastic. It's up there as one of my uh, favorite ones Both that he had. Look looked absolutely yeah. fantastic. The other one looked super hot. though. looked really spicy. Yeah, the other one I wouldn't be able to do. Me and Jordan can do you. spicy. Well, it's true, yeah. Yeah, but everybody yeah, has I think it's just the spices spice, alone, though. but once you cook them together, it kind of, you know, evens itself out. And he said no. That's true. Wait. What do you mean true. no? No. Now. Now. I'm not. They're the going to be. The person who cooks most in the house. It doesn't work that way. When you add a whole bunch of spice, you're going to make something spicy. Makes well, he said he even thing. said he just said it wasn't as bad as he, as he it was. It wasn't as but hot as he thought. But you got to remember, everybody has different level of spice. That they can handle. Yeah, but he tasted the same thing before and then after, so it's the same person. It's not two different people tasting the same thing. Exactly. Huh. Anyway. Anyway. Right. I see what you're trying to get from. <laughs> uh, Trinity, let's go to you. Oh, I thought that looked amazing. Now I really, like, we're, me and Jordan are supposed to get food after this. Uh, whoa, like, hold on, what? Uh, no, 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 shut your mouth. And we're no. supposed to go get some food after this because we ain't eating yet, and I really want Indian food now. But I don't I'll know if any all day. is open. Yeah, I don't think there's I any, can cook. even for takeout, I don't think there's any of uh, that are there's open for none. takeout. Not 100% sure, because there are restaurants that are, are open for takeout. Uh, I don't yeah, know about them, are, though. And all the that lamb, it was cooked perfect. It was still pink. You, you know? ever had lamb? Yes. 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 And it looked, well. it looked so good. Oh, Did and you that stuff you were talking about, that pasty sauce or whatever. The the, the stuff you put oh. on, the stuff they put on it. Yeah, but yeah. see, like, when... when I eat chicken chicken with sauce. I want more of it, like, you know, the There's sauce not enough of it, it on there for you? You know the sauce? Like, I would want mm -hmm. more of that. Like, so you want it, like... Like, serve it to me in a bowl. And, like, a bag That's how I'm going to eat it from now on, in a bowl. So she I wants it in scoop a... scoop the sauce. The sauce like is, like, the best part. Super hot tub yeah. of sauce. I see what you're saying, because I got a plate, it's hard to scoop a good amount in there. Trini yeah, wants it, it so it's just there, so she can use the bread, the naan, and everything, and make it, like, a little cup... I don't I know. I'm just hungry. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, overall, I like the video. It looked really good. And yes, Absolutely. the last one was my favorite. I would love yeah. to eat that. That looks so good. I would eat either or. Well, thanks for cutting me off. I didn't know it was your turn. Go ahead, Trini. What I would eat either say? one of those dishes because they both looked great. Oh, she didn't. I, I was expecting Trini to go like, no, it's okay, Jordan. Go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Sorry. No, she took it and ran. Only to say like three words. I would eat either one of those Anyways, but everything he showed looked really good. Uh, I'm yeah. a little iffy about uh, the first thing he had uh, taken a sip of. Uh, yeah, the no. Molasses. Oh, out of the hand. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. He said it tasted what, like a aspirin, aspirin right. and water. He said it tasted yeah, like, like a, a puff of a cigarette. And then puff of yeah, yeah, with like a like a puff yeah, like a watered down aspirin and like or like a one puff of a cigarette. That's what he said. But other than that, everything else looks so freaking good. And it's making me so hungry. So, you know, when you've seen this video, hopefully we already ate by the time you see it and comment on it. But well, I not, hope so, because this is going to... <laughs> just tell Nathan, feed us. I mean, I hope so, because from my time of recording this, from the time it goes up, is a couple of, like, two, three days, so... Well, uh, uh, if this goes up Monday or Tuesday, and you don't hear anything else from us, we starve to death. <laughs> you don't starve that fast. Yeah, you don't, you don't starve uh, that fast. Troy? Shh, three days? Um, if I wasn't hungry before, I am now. I'm actually really hungry now. You said if you yeah. weren't, how do you know that? I wasn't hungry before, but now I am. And I'll, I'll tell you this too about about Indian food and Troy. Troy is not the biggest person for experimenting with food at all. Mm, me neither. And the fact that that he has experimented and tried some Indian food uh, for the YouTube channel, and he's ended up realizing that he likes uh, at least some of it so far that we've tried, particularly the, the chicken tikka masala. Yeah. Like, and the naan. The only bad thing is that it messes with my stomach really bad for some reason. I don't know. Why. Not used to That's why you got to eat more food. of it. But it's worth it. Your See, belly you will see get used. processed crap. I'm the same way because I don't, I don't like food every oriental day food most of the time, like Korean so, food or all that. i just not a big fan of it. It just does not agree with me. And if it doesn't agree with me the first time, why eat it the second time? Last but not least, Rachel, what did you think? Um, As resident uh, chef cook <laughs> of the household. <laughs> um, it looked amazing. Absolutely. Um, I 
we my family has actually done the uh, underground cooking before, but we've done it with pigs a whole life. Like big pigs. Oh, so you cooked you, a live pig. You buried no, we, well, a pig. You said no, a we killed it and then pig. we cooked it. You yeah. buried a pig alive? You guys heard that. We buried a pig alive. after we killed it and took all of its innards out. And innards? then we cleaned it off. I believe it's And then we put eyes. it in the pit and then we covered the pit. Did it turn out good? Oh, it was really good. Was it? It was really, really Did you good. Did you use the hot charcoal or coals? I we bet. used the hot coals and the wood. And then we put, a, put the wood over the top with a tarp and then Jordan? put bricks on the tarp. To keep it from flying up. Well, that's cool. You've you had, you've had um, um, what's it called? Uh, experience. It's some experience. It's, it, it takes a long time. Uh, the whole pig used to take yeah. about twelve hours. So for and that one, two hours is is not yeah. that bad. I was gonna say yeah. They said two hours, and it was you know probably in a container. Yay. You know, container, big, so. A container. Well, it wasn't burlap. A container. I know, but burlap. Container. It was Yay. wrapped so the heat would stay in there. And <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Jordan>. <laughs> Isn't he the funniest person you've ever seen in your life, folks? That's right. That's Jordan's humor here on Geeks Amusing. Um, but yeah. But that was funny. It absolutely it? looks it delicious. Funny. It, didn't work out. it does. It does look delicious. Yeah, it worked out great. I can hear you all laughing out there. Uh, but yeah, it, it looked absolutely delicious. And uh, yeah, I agree with Trinity. I would like some Indian food right about now. I don't think we can get any at the moment, but I'll that would be some. that would be terrific. But um, we just want to say once again, thank you guys so much for all your love and support on the channel. Uh, let us know in the comment section or on Twitter or Instagram what you guys thought. Love y'all. Peace. Are you sitting? Try sit normal, please. I am. I know, but I'm just when you get you you went back and then you're like and then you start doing things. I'm like I can't I can't figure it out. No. That's true. No.